Jesus stood before the governor. And the governor questioned him. Are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus said, it's as you say. Then the chief priests and the elders made their accusations against him. But he made no reply. So then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many accusations they are making against you? But Jesus gave him no reply, not to a single charge. So the governor was amazed. Now, at the feast, the governor always used to release one prisoner of the crowd, anyone they asked for. And at that time, they had a well-known prisoner called Jesus Barabbas. So, when the crowd had gathered, Pilate said to them, Which one? Do you want me to release for you? Jesus Barabbas or Jesus who is called the Messiah? Because he knew. The chief priests had only handed Jesus over to him out of jealousy. But while he was sitting in judgment, his wife sent a word to him have nothing to do with that man. He's innocent. I've suffered many things today because of a dream I had about him. Meanwhile, the chief priests and the elders were persuading the crowd to ask for Barabbas. Have Jesus executed? So, when the governor said to them again, which of the two do you want me to release for you? They said, Barabbas! Pilate said to them, Then what am I to do with Jesus, who is called the Messiah? They all said, Crucify him! He said, Why? What crime has he committed? But they shouted even louder, Crucify him! Pilate saw he was getting nowhere, instead a riot was starting, so he took some water and he washed his hands in front of the crowd and he said, I am innocent of this man's blood. You see, it's on you. And all the people answered, his blood be on us and on our children. So he released. Barabbas, amen. And he had Jesus whipped, and he handed him over to be crucified. But the soldiers took him inside to the praetorium, and they gathered their whole squadron around him, and then they stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. They twisted some thorns into a crown, and they put it upon his head. And they put a staff in his right hand, and they knelt before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, the king of the Jews! <laughs> they took the staff and hit him over the head. Then they spat on him. When they'd finished mocking him, they stripped him of the robe, and put his clothes back on him. Take him out. To crucify him! Everyone, please stand. As they were going out, they came upon a man from Cyrene named Simon. 
and they forced him to take the cross. And they came to a place called Golgotha, place of the skull. And they offered him wine mixed with gore to drink. He tasted it, but he wouldn't drink it. And then they crucified him. They divided his clothes among themselves by rolling dice. And then they sat down to keep watch over him. They put the charges against him over his head, writing, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two thieves were crucified with him, one on his right, one on his left. The people passing by were shaking their heads and hurling insults. You're going to destroy the temple, build it in three days? <laughs> Save yourself! If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross! The chief priests scribes and the elders were mocking him also, saying, he saved others. He can't save himself. He is the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now, and we'll believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now. If it is his will, he said, I am the Son of God. The thieves who were crucified with him were taunting him also. At noon, darkness came over the whole country for three hours. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli! Eli! Which means, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Some bystanders heard it, and they said, he's calling for Elijah. One of them ran got a sponge and filled it with sour wine and put it on a stick and gave it to him to drink. The others said, leave him alone. Let's see if Elijah comes to save him. And then Jesus cried out in a loud voice and gave up his spirit. Everyone, please kneel. The curtain of the temple was torn in two, from top to bottom. The earth shook. Rocks were split. Tombs were opened. Many of the bodies of the holy ones who had fallen asleep were raised. They came out of the tombs and entered the holy city and appeared to many after his rise. And the centurion and the men with him who were guarding Jesus saw all that had happened. And the earth quake. They were filled with fear. And they said, truly, this man was the son of God.